we active. There we go. I'm back. I, I dealt with the, the cat. Poor little guy. He always finds mischief when I'm busy. Oh, I don't think I did save the game. I think I just paused it. Well, good thing it didn't take long. What are we doing? Oh, we're gonna go release him. I'm very easily distracted. Mischievous. The blight has truly come, and the king is dead. Fuck. Please, we came here to get away from the fighting. I hear those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. But if Arl Eamon is sick, why are you here? Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. So, the girl who sends all these knights off, she she thinks this is a wild goose chase. So does she do all this just to protect her son so no one will be there to look upon him when he does magic? Shouldn't she be fleeing the dark spawn? My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Honestly, so will everyone else. Why is that, if I may ask? We need his help. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Right, so, like, should we go there? He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. Hmm. So your, your quest brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. Tell me about it. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Uh, I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Who? Oh, um, they're dead. What? And you have his locket? Uh-huh. And a note? Uh-huh. Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I'm sorry. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. And when the makers 
Do you have a name? And when the chant spreads across all four corners yes. of the world, what can I do for you? Uh, oh, okay. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my sister. Sure, sign the paper, she said. You'll enjoy some coin now, but they'll be back. I guess I'll see you on the front lines. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our righteous dedication and enduring perseverance. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in Heaven. I brought my family and then to shall the chant of life make it pure. I'm sorry, I cannot talk now. I must feed the Holy Brazier to ensure the flame never dies. What's the significance of it? It represents the flames that burned Andraste herself. Do you know the tale? Um, doesn't everybody? We are all sinners. The fire symbolizes our hope that forgiveness is possible. Thus, we will serve by feeding its flames. But it burned her alive. So if I sin, I should just set myself on fire? Oh my god, don't say that. Of course. The dwarves have offered us coal and special rocks. Even the Circle of Magi volunteered to provide magical flames. If that isn't irony, I don't know what is. The flame means little without the act of remembering and atoning for our sin. Um, I think I get it. Always a pleasure. What do you know about the Knorr? Only that the revered mother sentenced him to starve in a cage for the murders he committed. Perhaps the Darkspawn will take him if he's not dead already. Uh, bye. I wish you well. For being a Chantry brother, you are very murderous. Lily, you joined a cult, just so you know. And when the Maker spoke, chant of light scattered in the dark. I am sorry, but I must prepare the Chantry's vestments before we flee. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. This is no better than what we left. Just like you wanted. Where do I get a key? You, Miss, what is your name? You seem quite odd to me. You would not be the first to think so. But avert your eyes. I will not have you staring over long. Let's get used to it. I'll be watching you. We want no trouble here. <laughs> I didn't know they could talk. Good day, Sister Leliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I have... nothing... to offer. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. What can I do for you then? I need my coin to purchase bat packs and a cute outfit in Denerim. Um, the Canary you imprisoned. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? The Maker sent me to retrieve him. Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Canary might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Was well, things not so desperate? Very well. I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced.
by chance. Does that key also open this? Sadly not. Yeah, I'm never that fortunate. How did they get in there? No, girl, you can't get over there. everything in here then. Oh right, I wanted to see if anything transferred over. For Lily. Be cool if it did. Only know because this was max. What cunning do you need? Twenty two. Okay. Let's go see if we can find some roses. I don't know where it would grow. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I would tell them that I was just checking. You never know, right? I... no. I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. Maybe he's just in a silly, goofy mood. You wish something more of me? I have your key. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you into my custody. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. Very well. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Glad to have you with us. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Well, I didn't want him around. I just didn't want him here.
Sparkle, sparkle? Sparkle? Anyone think they're glistening? You want to glisten. Y'all suck. Why is her main daggers and then an Inquisition bow? Am I supposed to get four? Maybe I should learn the heal spell. It's done. Anyone sparkling? Then you're of no use to me. I was gonna grab something. Did I already get it? Oh, I'll fruit. Of course.
Enchantment. Enchantment. Someone help us! Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You're welcome. The name's Bodan Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sam. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Uh, it's, it's complicated, but you can hang out. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of them. Thank you for the offer. There may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? See you soon. Someone left a car. Um. Why is it saying I can... There's nothing important. We'll be off as soon as this mess is clean. Thank you, Carnage. That's weird. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Ooh, it's gonna suck to be you. That's rough, buddy. You weren't even worth a kill. Okay, Alistair, what do I want for you? Probably survival instinct. I don't know if this would be good or bad. On one hand, you can get rid of all magic curses. Passive. Passive. 20 dexterity. 25 strength. Okay. We'll work on those. Nine. 
Hmm. We'll do creatures. Twenty five magic. Okay. Y'all are sassy. I finished. You act like I'm holding you here against your well. Whale. Whoa. Two handed. I'll give that to. You. What's his face? Oh, is it what I already have on? With basic leather gloves and boots. Do I have basic leather? No. What gloves do I have on? Studded leather. Studded leather. I don't even have studded leather. Anything else. I guess it's really just based off looks. And I don't want to be matching with my girl. Sorry, was that Miriam's note? Is that what that said? Oh. Wrong Miriam. Y'all need to get different names for these people. Call her Chloe or something stupid like that. Have any luck finding herbs in the woods? Um... This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Thank you. Almost done here, I think. What's that? It's marked him because of the feast day gifts? That doesn't matter until I get to camp, right? 
because I can't talk to him. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Thank you. You have more? Security is in my eyes, a first thing. If our love died, would that be the worst thing? I already killed the bears. Okay. No, I didn't kill bears. I killed spiders. Oh my god, is that from the little boy we found earlier? No. I was gonna head that way. <laughs> it's a trick. There's nothing over there. It's, it's a little glitchy glitch. Are y'all gonna sparkle? Or no? You suck. I didn't worry about the wolves because I had to come back this way. Nobody sparkles. V, you were sending me fan art of my uh, Lafilan and Solus. Could we see if we could get like a kid story? Because I'm. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet. And all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Thank you. Are we done? Are we done with loitering? Yep. Let's go to camp. Is there only one way to leave, or can I leave this way? Only one way. What song is this? Can I use this? Your playlist rocks, by the way. I have a headphone in, so I can hear the things that you send me. But my mic doesn't so I don't get copyright claimed. Because if I go to camp, that will get rid of my 
problem, right? So I don't have to use a uh, injury kit. I know I just played this game, but I forget everything. <laughs> Bad dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Arch dream is a dragon. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the arch demon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the arch demon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Any more surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. You're lying. What do you need? Ask away. What can a Templar do? Essentially, they're trained to fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend. But don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. Could... Um... Have you hunted many mages? No, I never actually became a full Templar. Duncan recruited me before I took my vows. I was only present during one harrowing. That was all I needed, too. I don't know how anyone could get through that. Yeah, the girl they tested, she had a demon put inside her to see if she could resist. And she couldn't. We had to end it quickly. I have to say, I didn't have much interest in becoming a Templar after that. Yeah. Could you teach others? Perhaps. But there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the Dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. Were you addicted to Lyrium? Thankfully, no. You only start receiving Lyrium once you've taken your vows. You don't need Lyrium in order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective. Or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away, either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky okay. me. Lucky you. What do you need? Ask away. Um... Tell me about the Wardens. Such as they are. <laughs> where are the nearest ones? That's a good question. There's plenty in Orlay, but who knows where they might be found. The nearest Orlesian city is weeks away. If we go north and cross the sea, there's bound to be some in the free marches. A 
again, however, I just don't know where. I don't know anything about the wardens in other lands. Isn't there like a headquarters? Here in Ferelden, there's our compound in Denerim at the palace, but that's it. Loghain will have control over that and be watching it, no doubt. Beyond that, the only place I know of is Weishaupt's Fortress. That's the headquarters of all Grey Wardens in the Anderfells, a thousand miles from here. I have no idea how to even... So unless we try to get back to the compound in Denerim, I suppose the answer is no. There's nowhere for us to go. So it's just the two of us. I imagine that eventually the Grey Wardens outside of Ferelden will wonder what's happened. Why there's no contact from Duncan or someone. They'll send someone eventually. Though who knows what Logan's people in general will tell them. Maybe they won't send anyone. Brav's gone, shut up. Contact them. But that would mean leaving Ferelden, and even if we did, they couldn't come back with us in time to stop the flight. So that means whatever happens, it's up to us. So we should, like, rebuild. I mean, eventually we would have to use the joining to make more Great Wardens, right? But I don't know how to do the joining, or what's involved. Oh, I know it involves helpful. Lyrium and some other magic, and that it's really difficult to prepare, but that's it. Unless we can find out more about the joining, I guess we better get used to the idea that there might only be two of us for now. Until more come from elsewhere. You're helpful. Just left? You mean just left for Elden? I don't know. If there's an archdemon, however, we're supposed to be the only ones who can defeat it. And that means the blight would grow unchecked. Eventually, other Grey Wardens in Orlais and other lands would hear about it, and they would come to fight it, but they wouldn't come in time to save Ferelda. There's no way. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. About the Grey Wardens, anyhow. Fair enough. What do you need? Nothing. Oh, I was really worried you were going to disapprove of that. Good. Who are you? I have never seen you at my camp before. You're a hard woman to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins, Levy the trader. Uh, I've never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. What I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. What? What was he doing? How do you know him? It's a bit of a tale, that is. But I'm the one who brought the Grey Wardens back to Ferelden. Well, I was one of the ones. There were a lot of us. Make us breath I'm a bit nervous. Honored to be here, really. Tell your tale. After King Marek freed us from the Orlesians, the Grey Wardens begged the King's permission to come into Ferelden. Some sort of internal business. Me and a mess of other Warden sympathizers spoke on behalf of your order. Tan Logan was very much against letting Orlesian Wardens in the kingdom. But Marek, Andraste, bless him, was a fair-minded monarch, and he let them in. So... So that's why I was there when the Wardens and their leader, Genevieve, presented herself to the King. The first Wardens in Ferelden in over a century. Proudest state of my life, that was. Duncan was a bit of a skank back then. <laughs> We were of an age and struck up a friendship. The king himself went with the wardens on their mysterious business. When he returned, he rescinded King Ardlan's decree, and the wardens came back to Ferelden for good. Duncan was an easy man to like. <laughs> that he was. Well, thanks. 
If it wasn't for you, I would still be imprisoned in the circle. Oh, your stomach's all a flutter. You're welcome. Anyway, what did he want to do? My family, well, passed a bit checkered, to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Arlen banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Okay. Hard to say. After King Arlen died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Duncan wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. And perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honor along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? Ah. Uh, why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in southern Ferelden. And Duncan got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never had the chance. I'll help. A thousand blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. That's gotta be DLC then, huh? Because. How have I never... It has to be. What's up, boys? Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fenwick, at your service, once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Sure. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. So all the junk... Is that even worth it? No, it's not. Huh. Oh, oh, these must be the feast day get, that has to be for the dog. King Merrick's shield. I'm guessing that would be Alistair's. Aww, Alistair has a doll. Wait, they're all free? A pet rock. I want a pet rock. Complete. Of the kings of Ferelden. Who the hell would that be for? The knights of Ferelden, not kings. I still don't know what. Ugly boots. Why do I want to give that to Liliana? Scented soap. Uncrushable pigeon shale, right? Sugar cake. 
I love gold. What the fuck? That pack. That's what I want. There's so much. It almost feels like cheating. Enchanted. Uh, the boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of art. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Enchantment! Congratulations, Alistair. You have enchantment. Right? Please tell me that was on Alistair. Of course not. Now it is. You know what? I'm never gonna. No. I'm never gonna take you into battle, so. 38 strength. What gifts do I already have on me? I could get used to this, you know. Okay. Hmm. A fine A gift. gift. You have, have my, my thanks. thanks. I just don't want to carry this stuff. And, uh, hmm. I am grateful. It is thoughtful indeed. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I did not want to carry this stuff. That's a lot, actually. If there's anything I can do for you, please, I'm sure you'll be... Where are we gonna go first? What quest do I have?
Frostback Mountain. Wait. Wait. We go to the same places in both games? Are you serious? Paragon of her kind will be last. <laughs> the broad mother should come nowhere near me at all, ever. Okay, what do we got here? I wanna... Prank. What is this? Oh, it's DC. I knew that guy was DC DLC. Okay. He escaped. Northwest reaches of the Fenorn. Don't know where that is. Let's make some friends. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> yes. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Your mother's been doing it for a while then, huh? Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is <laughs> no there something specific you wish to know? Uh... Anyone with sufficient will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. Tis a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Indeed, you could learn the spells required if I cared to teach you. Do you spend a lot of time as an animal? There were nights when the wilds called to me. It is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat. Proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. What do animals think of you? They do not shy away from me. To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. I've never heard of this magic. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the Circle of Magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. Uh... Yes, good, yes. I'm shocked that you think so, being a mage of the circle as you were. But perhaps you felt a little like a caged bird as well, caught within that dark tower. Now that she's left it, her eyes are opening. I thought so. They killed my only friend. Well, they didn't kill him. He just, he's missing. Um, but it's their fault. 
The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. I feel like you could get away with a lot though if you learned how to more. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Absolutely not. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. We're gonna be besties, Morgan. Just you watch. Hello. Why are we stopping? Uh, to rest? Have you not heard of it? There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Tell me of your people, because I am very confused, generally. No. Ha Wasn't expecting that. Get used to disappointment. People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. Okay. Bye. I am. Have you fought in a war? I have always fought in war, elf. So you must know your way about battle gun, Some of them. They aren't all alike. Are you always this bad at answering questions? Generally. I do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. Okay, let's go. As you wish. You're so annoying. Aw, oh, you approve of me though. Thanks. Oh, this helmet is horrendous. I'm glad I gave it to you. Liliana. We're gonna be besties, and I'm very sorry, but I'm gonna break your heart. Yes. Well, here I am. This vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. You dreamed of the blight. I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. And this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Blight devours everything? I couldn't sit by either. That is why you are a Grey Warden. Come, there's a Blight to stop. That's it? I sat there and listened to all your stupid-ass Chantry bullshit, and you only give me two approval. Lily. Yes? We're gonna fight. Well... Here I am. What was life like in the Chantry? Quiet. It was a life suited for contemplation. 
In the cloister, away from the fuss and the flurry of the cities, I found peace. And in that stillness, I could hear the Maker. But it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. That is the nature of religious folk, I suppose. Condescending how? <laughs> yeah, they tend to be self-righteous. When I talked about my beliefs, that the Maker reveals himself in the beauty of his world, they treated me with disdain. They want to believe that he's gone, so that when he turns his gaze on them, it means they are special, chosen. He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the weary, the beggars and the fools. What did you say? Oh, I prefer your ideas to the ideas of the chance. Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done, and I have talked enough for now. What's wrong? If you ate all your food, I'm not getting you more right now because you threw up. I love you. <laughs> piece of ham and a large piece of cheese. I have some deja vu about this. <laughs> hi, hi. What do you need? Nothing. Ask, Ask away. Um... You said the owl raised you? Oh, did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. Oh, did they? That must have been tough for them. Well, they were flying dogs, you see. Surprisingly strict parents, too. And devout Andrastians to boot. Ah. That's what they say about Anders? What's an Anders? That and that they make a great deal of cheese. Funny, but the dogs never mention cheese. As a matter of fact, if you said cheese to them, they'd start growling. Isn't that odd? Or did I dream all of that? Funny the dreams you'll have when you sleep on the cold, hard ground, isn't it? <laughs> Are you having strange dreams? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes, and they strangely all involve you. You would do violence upon me? I am shocked and dismayed. The dogs would never threaten me like this, you know. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard, and before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Our Lehman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Alistair, I'm having a vision, and I feel like that's not your real mom. Your real mom was a grave warden. And an elf, which means you're an elf, and you're a hypocrite. You know who your dad is. I know who I was told was my father. He died even before my mother did, anyhow. It isn't important. Our Lehman eventually married a young woman from Orlais which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Isle didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10, just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. I could kill you if you want. What an awful thing to do to a child. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence, I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. 
The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there, and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. Aww. You were, you were young. And raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been, the way I acted. <laughs> but maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man, and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kanan's uncle. So he has a personal motivation to see Loghain paid for what he did. Anyway, Does that's that really all there is to the story. Uncle? What do you need? Nothing. Ask away. Yeah, why did you remain a Templar if you hate the Chantry? Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you wearing it. I keep it hidden under my pillow. Sometimes I'll take it out just so I can hug it fondly and remember the good old days. <laughs> Bring some tears to the eyes, you know. I don't know if she means it's nice or mean. I'd use my shield if I could, but I think you might actually spot me hiding behind it. You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. No, she just likes listening to you talk. Um, go ahead and tell her though. Poke, poke, poke. Tell me everything about your life, Alistair. All right, if you insist. It's not like we have anything better to do, right? The truth of the matter is that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Eamon had cast me off unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. What did you enjoy about training? The education, mostly, but also the discipline. You need to have a disciplined mind in order to use the abilities we have. It was difficult, but rewarding. I never really felt at home anywhere, though, until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful when we encountered Darkspawn magic, so I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? You're my home. It is. I didn't know you felt that way. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good. Either way. I, uh... I don't know how to tell you this, Alistair, but Twinkle is not going to make it to the end of this war. I mean, she'll make it to the end of the war, but not past that. She would never betray you. That's assuming we even survive. You're right. Best to concentrate on what we have to do right now. Barkspawn! Quit barking! Oh, you little... Why? Did your shadow scare you? Oh, you're so funny. Such rapier wit. Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Oh, poor baby. Why were you near his food? Alright, what do you got? There's hardly any blood drawn. You're fine. Oh, he's a war dog. Oh, you be nice to Mr. Alistair. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. 
I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, I would never. I'd never feed you another human. Unless we're... Unless he tries to kill me. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hair is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. He means well. The dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. You're a war dog, not a nursemaid. Have fun. Okay. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. What do we have? No. Can I s sneak over here and then reload? Just so I can see... No, because there's a fight if you go there. Let's go get shale then. Oh, shale. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people traveling in this part of Ferelden. You're in this of course, part that's of part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Part of your problem? Well, yes. Oh, it's been quite the month. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois. Merchant and entrepreneur at your service. Twinkle, pleased to meet you. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? What do you need? Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? What does it do? The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? I mean, you look like the sort who could use one, yes? What's the catch? The catch? Uh, yeah. 
I uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. It's supposed to be down in the village down south, waiting to be activated. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. What, what? The fellow I brought it from is a long-standing contact. He didn't want to come to Ferelden, however, with all our... troubles. <laughs> he said he got it from the man who owned this golem. But, to be honest, I have no idea if it will work. Hence, the low, low price. <laughs> what do you say? Okay. Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honlit. I'll mark it here on your map. Just hold up the rod and say Dulafgar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Best of luck to you then. Now, I guess it's up to me to find that meal myself. Bye. When is this Alistair approved going to disappear? Oh. That was, that was ironic timing. Superman! How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. Honestly, what is the point of that? Does anything come of this? Do I get to meet Superman? He should show up in- in- <gasps> He could be an Elvenaris for Dreadwolf 4. Er, Dreadwolf 4. Dragon Age 4 Dreadwolf. We should- We should get little Super Baby. It's still the funniest little thing. Is that just in here for funsies? Oh, this is the one with the cat, huh? I'm sensing more dark spawn. Go. Did they just run away? Okay, bye. I'm sensing more dark spawn.
how many houses can I break into? So far the answer is zero. do that. That's better. Always getting hurt. <laughs> Speckles. Just like you want it.
Dark front, straight ahead. As we I'm just robbing you in front of you, don't worry about it. By the Maker, we're saved! To Bam, were you? To save us. I doubt anyone thought you were alive. <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. Looking. I, I brought a control rod for a golem. A control rod? Do you mean the one for shale? That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! What do you mean it killed your father? My father's name was Wilhelm. 
Mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlay. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Ah, uh, what else can you tell me about it? My mother never talked about it much. I was just a small child when my father died. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. She was afraid, and I ran too far in before I could stop her. Your daughter? I made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? Ah, uh, what killed him? There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier. I, I had the key for that, but the rest of it... Well, we never came down here. Ever. So, how do you know she's... I'll see if I can find her. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there! really cool if I could level up right now. Well, how long do I have to level up? Mm, let's hope my persuasion is enough. Found the dead man. Lily's guarding me. And I'm here for it. Why are you not running? There we go. What? What's next? You? We're playing done guessing this. game. It's better with more people. Ah. Uh, Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? No. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Um. She finds me distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. <laughs> A c the cat talks. Of course, silly. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. What are you? I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. A stranger who finds you interesting. Oh, did you hear that, Amalia? That's because you're wonderful, Kitty. I have been bound to this chamber for decades, cut off from all contact. It has been maddening. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. 
Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Don't you... don't you think... he'll notice? Mortals often allow themselves to be blinded by hope. They see what they wish to see. If the father hopes to see his Amalia alive and unharmed, perhaps he will. Okay. Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I might hate puzzles, but I've I'm- I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. Shut up, Amelia. Amelia? Why do I know that name? If Solus is- is Mythol's chambers taught me anything, I'm good at puzzles, I just hate them. What do we got? I like it when Kitty sings to me. I bet you do. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. Are you going to talk this whole time? Oh. Hmm. Kitty says Grandpa Velvet and locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Totally. No, that's not the one I wanted to press. Not the button I said to press either. Hmm. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. Oh my god. What do you need? Nothing. It's just a little difficult to work all of this. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? Horrendous. That one will stay. Okay, what else we got to do? Oh, it's a flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. Oh my god. I was thinking. 
thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> Fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. And where will you go? Anywhere. Close your eyes, my darling. This will take but a moment. Wait, wait, wait. That's not what I did last time. Yes, this is what I wanted. To see a bone out. That's that's not what I did last time. I said something different. I think I picked the first one. How did I do this right the first time and fuck up the second time? Fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Okay. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Oh, of course. Desire. Oh, Morgan, piss off. Ah. What just happened? Ah. <laughs> the town room, isn't it? Well, I may have destroyed your traps, but I mean, your granddaughter's safe, so... You I'm in the pond. That's Thank why you I know so that. Much. I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. 
All the bad creatures are gone. You'll need a phrase to activate, Shay. It's Doolan Hard. I wouldn't want the thing, but it's obvious you can handle yourself just fine. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. It'd be so cool if you gave me a reward for saving her from a damn demon. Oh, you did. Never mind, I said nothing. Desire demons. Honestly, one of my favorites. They're the easiest to deal with. Not in combat, just because you can convince them to walk away. like like a golem doesn't it an actual golem and not a statue at all i wonder how it ended up here of all places did you miss our whole other conversations Someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes, just my luck. Hello, handsome man. Hello to you, too. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm, another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? No. Some got away then. How unfortunate. <laughs> Didn't care for them, I take it. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no, but it did make for a delightful change of pace. You have a name? Wait, you watched the attack? Not as much as it would think. There was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers, but there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Do you have a name? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. Why? It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Is something wrong? I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Why? Oh, go on. It will be fun. Uh, um. Then order me to stop, or go away, or just order me, please. Okay, come here. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken shouldn't she be happy hmm. i suppose if i can't be commanded this means i have free will yes it is simply what should i do i have no memories beyond watching this village for so long i have no purpose 
I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? Have a friend. I haven't given it much thought. I, I see. Wonderful. Recently. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Well, you are welcome to come with me. Oh, are you going to keep calling me it? Yes, very likely. <laughs> you want to come? Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. If you feel like you're gonna throw up, stop eating. <sighs> Think of it as a portable. No. Thanks for stating the complete obvious. You're welcome. It's good to have a purpose, you know. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. I'm Twinkle. Pleased to meet you. This should be interesting. Oh, but I don't actually want you to hang out with me. You get one quest line. I think we're done here. Okay guys, let's go to camp. Oh, that's where I came from. This song slaps. I don't understand. You look like a woman. I am a woman. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Why? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Yes, some women fight. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. They don't. Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. I'm a woman, and I'm fighting. One of those things can't be true. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. I can change the color of my hair. <laughs> Out of all of the clever and smart things that he've said, that's the one I picked. Can they? We'll see. Get over yourself. Shale. Oh. oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. Glad to know you care. It's true. One single tear, and then it's off to the north, I think. Or maybe west. I haven't decided. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. 
Oh my god, I have to get you that stupid bird. But I don't know if it's a good thing or bad, but I'm so excited to give it to you. Boys, give me a bird. You and I'm your so friends are formidable folk, folk indeed. indeed. I am I'm sure so you'll be pleased with the goods my does. boy and I have collected. And with which. Uncrushable bird. Free. I saved. <laughs> Can I delete my saves? I don't mean to make this money. She's a rogue and a thief and she'll tempt your fate. When did this song come on? There's very few I can resist not to sing. The resist to sing. I know what I mean. <sighs> we are gonna go get in some trouble. Okay, what do I wanna upgrade with you? 16 cunning, what do you got? I don't know. Eighteen cunning. Okay, we're gonna need that. Oh, I'm sorry. Cunning eighteen. find that tutorial video again. It's not a video, it's on the wiki, huh? The, can you send me the uh, summoning thing for the circle? I know it's broken, but I'm sure it still gives XP, right? Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Thank you. Look at 
that. I leveled up. Thank you, V. I just got it. Yeah, it is bugged on PlayStation 3. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try anyway. Give her, little oh man. Because I think we're about to. You have some, some kind of problem. problem. Oh? What was what this, this about? about? How sad it is to see a Grey Warden manipulated. But I have no time to straighten this out for you. Just give me the Man, things. let's teach the Grey Warden a lesson about trust. You could just give me... ...the item. And no one had to die. I remember taking you across when you left with that fella Duncan. They were a Grey Warden. My pop used to tell me stories about them. I don't remember you because I don't have that cutscene because I'm on a PlayStation 3 and have no fun little mods. Templars took the boat. Why? I don't got a clue. They wouldn't tell me. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he was Carol in charge of my boat, Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. Hmm. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic, but the towers always got something to do with magic. Wow, the circle that holds mages might have something to do with magic? Who would have thought? You could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. True. Thanks. You're too kind. Your type don't usually give my type the time of day. An elf? Or a Grey Warden? Or a mage? Not sure. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Okay. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Lovely. You said in the sack? There it is, now it sparkles. Princess. What are you looking at? You. 
you don't use a bow. So why do you always have bow things? Are they all for bows? What is this one? I've just done you recently. Okay, my cunning is up. If I'm going into the circle, I got demons, and for that I need ice. Ice is good, I'm good on ice. Maybe this. 28 magic. Okay. Can I even accomplish that? Barely. Wait, what's that? Shapeshifter, spirit healer. That's, is that what I think it is? Sweet. We will look at that next time. Because we're about to get what's her face. Wing. should rob them. Right Thank away. You. Good day. She's nice, we're not gonna rob her. Hello. Good day, and welcome to the spoiled princess. Is there something I can get for you? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling inn. The name stuck. That's the story. Sounds about right. Of course. What would you like? That's all I need. I'll buy that another time. It's not as important as what I've got going on now. Oh, you know what? Here I am. Oh, never mind. He's nice.
You don't have 24 dexterity. We'll save it. We'll save it. You! You're not, You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Mm -hmm. Prove it. How? Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. Do you see any darkspawn? Well, that's good, I suppose. Wouldn't want darkspawn smeared across the landscape. I hear their blood is black. Is that true? You'd know if you were a Grey Warden. Are you on drugs right now? No, wait. The opposite. Are you on withdrawal right now? Kill a dark spot and find out for yourself. It's black, but it burns. It's not black, but it burns when it. I thought it was black this whole time. Is it supposed to be red? Oh, pleasant, hey? Good thing I don't have to kill them, then. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go! No. Your superior won't like you giving me trouble. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Absolutely. Wait, actually, he would. Good point. Shouldn't we try to avoid that? He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Yes. Come along, I suppose. Thanks. Oh no, I get to see my husband. Oh no. Oh no. He's gonna be so... So much. So much. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. As the song I put it first puts on. That's great timing. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Hi, the doors Gregor. Are, are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. What happened? I don't have time to entertain visitors. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. Hmm, thanks. 
perhaps. Now we're dealing with a situation that doesn't involve you, Grey Warden. Mm, don't be an ass. I will probably try to slaughter you. What happened? I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. Oh, get over it. I thought you would have caught him by now. Seems you suck at your job. How exactly? He is one man in all the world, and we have no way to locate him. It set a dangerous precedent. I should have been more vigilant and urged Irving to be more wary. I can only hope that someday Jowan gets what he deserves. But right now I have other pressing concerns. Hmm. We don't know. Who's Ivern? We saw only demons, hunting Templars and Mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. You ran away? Coward. Oh, wait, that's an option. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. Hmm. It is our duty as Templars to watch the Circle Tower. We will stand guard to make sure nothing leaves. Nothing. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. You left. Innocent mages are now to die. There's children in there. Not just mages, but my Templars also. I had no choice. The abominations must be contained at all costs. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. Excuse me? The mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. Alistair, this shut up. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. The mages are not defenseless. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. Dead children? You're gonna murder them anyway. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. So? I can handle it. Ah, that arrogance hangs about you like some fell cloud, doesn't it? If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. We have nothing to offer you but gratitude and service. I have heard the tower holds many valuable artifacts. I expect we'll have to consider them lost or destroyed. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Alistair, did you level up by talking shit? What the fuck?
My wounds, they burn. It's unbearable. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. I'm sure it'll be over. I certainly soon. hope so. Are you here to trade then? Yes. Wait, do you have... Is it here? Oh. I thought you had a backpack. I'll come back for that eventually. Until then. Hmm. I didn't know there were recipes for that. Oh! Huh, there's the backpack. I swear I'm bright. I'm, I'm, I'm smart, I swear. Have you ever seen an abomination? The sight will haunt me forever. So the mages are all locked within. A fitting end for those who gave up their own freedom. Hey, some of us didn't have a choice. We were children when we were taken. And then brainwashed. This is my room. Just like you wanted. Return to the tower? Why did the Templars let you through? Are you here to warn us? The Templars have barred the doors. They will only open them if they intend to attack us. Is that what is happening? Um... The Rite of Annulment hasn't arrived yet. <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. How did you invoke the right, however? We will not be able to stand against them. How did you escape Ozimar? You were there right before the battle. If anyone could survive this, it would be the first enchanter, Irving. It was he who told me to look after the children. It's a long story. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Cool. 
Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. I think he is. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle, mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Why are you so mean? Look at how they live, servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Everyone deserves respect? No. Wait, that's even worse than I thought. I, I need to finish reading these when I press them. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynn, are you sure you're alright? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be alright. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. We got this. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Morgan, you have to go home. Or to camp, you know, same thing. Yes. Indeed. I am sorry that your homecoming has been marred. Still, it is good to see you back, and I am glad you survived Ostagar. Aren't you the guy who threw up? You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tarn a traitor. So you did hear about that. Wynne was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. Well, I'm glad she's telling people that he's a bitch. I heard the Templars talking oh about my chasing God. down a Malithica yesterday. This isn't when you meet the spirit, is it? You, you get that way before this, right? Did you go to Ozamai with the spirit? Oh, it's you. I remember you. The tower isn't how you remember it, is it? Wait, and you wanted to be tranquil. All right, considering the circumstances. I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to, to do away with us. No, don't say that. It's not true. You deserve to live just like anyone else. The swords are like that the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. <sighs> Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. Girl, you're crazy. <laughs> this horrible idea has unhinged you a bit. Or oh, you're crazier than I remember. You're crazier than I remember. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. You used to be a Templar. Strike her down. She's nuts. I've finished. At the Anyone else? You. You have a name. Look after her, will you? I will. I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after... I just worry. Not after what? 
I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming, and a demon came round the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was... gone. Hmm. So this is when she took on the spirit. Really? During an abomination problem? That's when you decide, yeah, yeah, I can trust this spirit. Girl. And you're gonna judge me later? As I moved to help her, she stirred and coughed. I don't know what I would have done if she had died. Cry? You would have cried. <laughs> you wouldn't have survived without her. I know. I owe her too much. Just look after her, alright? She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't run away from that totally unharmed. She's safe with me. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. Why did they not click on people last time? I, f I missed a lot. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. Did it tire you? It made me very weary at times. But I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Be on your guard. taking quick kill when I tell you to. Oh, I got a mess with everything. God. Okay, why does it not?
those do? Do you have any fighting skills? God, you're fucking pointless. And so I shall. Where? Summoning front. Tome of spirit something. Tome of summoning something. Yes. And the summoning first. Oh, that's a little nug. Did it call it a hog? That's a nug. That is a hundred percent a creepy little nug. Okay, second sequence. Mm-hmm. 
Radicons Uncommon Calling. Something are yes. Statue. You. Summoning the second. Oh. Right. Sometimes you can't pickpocket him on PlayStation 3, but we're still going to try. Summoning back. Something with an R. Statue. Summoning third. Second. Pocket him, but we try. Summoning friend Elvin Norin's Grand Bestiary. Bestiary, bestiary, there it is. Common table carving spot. Table. Table. Spiritinorum Spiritinorum Statue. Philanthropy. Summoning the third. No. Yeah. Sequence. 
had a character was stealing nearby. Cool. This part's not documented. I don't care. It's apparently documented somewhere if it's here. Summoning front. Home of Spirits. Redcom. Don't run into the wall, stupid girl. Wayne! Yes? Is there something you wish to discuss? I want if you to not, get... I should hurry. Time is of the essence. No shit! Get out of my way! Onward, then. Better not have fucked this up. Statue. Bestiary. Spiritum e yeah, I can't say that. Spiritum Spiritum you Statue Novice Philanthropy. Save. Summoning the four. Successful stealing adds the notes. Okay, we're summoning the four. Just past the door to the inner library, turn left past the suitcase. Ah. Oh, this is rather awkward. What? I'm not supposed to be here. Not right at all. That is all four of them. Sweet. I'll have to clip that. Thank you, V. If you have any other secrets, girl, send them to me. I'll, I'll put them in my videos. Okay, I see the video. Oh, room is near here. I hope he's all right. Okay, I see the video you sent me. Um, the one I'm watching right now is like 12 minutes left, and then I'll watch that one. Please refrain from going into the stock room. It is a mess, and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. <sighs> yes, it is I, Owain. You remember. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. He doesn't have fear. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. 
Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. Well, I guess it's a little safe. Yeah, haven't you come across to abominations? No, I suppose I should count myself lucky. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I'd succeed at what? I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of a drama. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. I'm sorry, there's abominations here, and you didn't once think, oh, maybe there's blood magic at play. No, 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 you just assume we're evil for no reason. You're supposed to be a mage and have our back. We've got this. We should find Nia. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Hi, Owen. I'll fix this, don't worry. What shall we do here? Please, please don't kill me. Why? I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. Don't you remember what it was like living here? The Templars watching. Always watching. Um. I never turned to forbidden magic. The magic was a means to an end. It gave us. It gave me the power to fight for what I believed. Fighting for what you believe is commendable, but the ends do not always justify the means. You don't really believe that, do you, Win? Change rarely comes peacefully. Andraste waged war on the Imperium. She didn't write them a strongly worded letter. She reshaped civilization, freed the slaves, and gave us the Chantry. But people died for it. We thought someone always has to take the first step, force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad. And we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. And all you do is wallow in self-pity. Pathetic. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. You could die with dignity. No! No, please! Babes, you're dead. <laughs> I think we work well together. What did that say?
Bros of Online. Do that for you. Mm -hmm. Just like you wanted. Zivrin's never going to really be in my party, is he? I just, I'm going to upgrade you so much that it's not going to be worth it. Are we in a hurry? Hello? Hello? It's safe. You can come out now. Are the demons gone? Is it safe? I don't want to die. I just told you it was safe. If you're sure it's safe, I could take a peek outside. Are you hurt? Oh, I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. Pleased to meet you. Oh, not as pleased as I am that you came along when you did. I bet. There were demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. Um, you could escape. And go where? The Templars have locked the door. I'm just going to stay here and see what happens. All right. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times. I made friends with the closet. There must be something left.
I still have the key? Cannot be. Apparently not. I wonder if it's possible to keep the key. You just leave and never tell them that you cleaned up all the spiders. I'll have to look it up. Not for this run, of course. You guys want to do something stupid? Let me save first. Level me up. Oh god, I have a minute to go. What are you showing me? Okay. I'm playing your video, V. 
I don't know why it took a minute for it to work, but... This is Irving's office. I half expected to find him here, but I suppose that's too much to hope for. Yep. Get used to disappointment. I finished. The Black Grimoire. like this place. I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, no, same. Girlie Tom, she was brainwashed here. It was only after meeting it's Morgan done. did she find out there was a better way to be a mage. At least a funner way. She learned that we don't have to fear the demons as much as she was taught. into a partial ritual. Curiosity unchecked became green for this unfortunate apprentice.
statue with the bowl. Sword up. Sword down. And then statue with a shield at the very top. I was wondering why you had sent me a video while I was streaming. It's because it has to do with what I'm doing right now. Things you didn't know about. Oh. That was wicked. Yeah, no, it happens all the time, V. Um. I don't know which problem it is, but I have so many. But I tend to live mm -hmm. in constant uh, earthquakes. Just like you wanted. For a long time I had it under control, but recently they've been bouncing back with a vengeance. Right ahead. So, sometimes I... Uh, I have to deal with a little earthquake. Sometimes they lost the water like they did the other day. Not always. doing the other day where I got it. It was, oh, I was doing Trespasser. I was like, you've seen the earthquake on video. Just get along. No.
statue with a shield. Updated, not completed. Oh, right. We missed a chest? Um, How did we miss this section? What? It's next. Okay. And now that we've messed with all four statues, we have to go kill something. Where we've got Wayne Wine. I don't know how to say her name. The old lady. Ah, it knows what I'm doing. Now we've done that quest, right? Mm -hmm. Done? Did we do it? Yes. Yeah, thing was just random thought. How powerful were the minds that unleashed it? The blade predates Andraste? Huh.
What now? My bad. Wait. The sword we just... Hold on. The sword we just picked up. Is this big ass sword in the title screen? Of course it is. Of course it is. The I love these videos. Is it? I'm tired. Oh, it's not even that late. Wait, we haven't been up here yet. Have we been up here yet? I think we have. Yeah. Yeah. Try that again. On my way. Wait, if I can get a Templar helmet, could I also get... Hmm. Could I also get a Templar outfit?
I never gave you gloves. My bad. So yeah, how can lyrium grow out of the ground like this? If it's veins. It doesn't quite make sense. Now that's just unnecessary. Your wish? I've finished. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. What in Andraste's name is going on here? Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? You're deceiving him. All emotion is intangible. You cannot see it, cannot grasp it. But it is normally caused by something real. Real events, real people. What you've done to him is... is abhorrent. I saw his loneliness and longing for a family that loved him. She's feeding off his innermost desires and taking away his will. This... this is unholy. 
No one else would have known his heart. He did not know it himself. You've made him your slave. I fulfill his dreams. I grant him all his desires. Is he my slave, or am I his? We are partners. I give him what no one else can, and through him, I experience what it is to be mortal. He deserves to be free and find his own happiness. What happiness? He has gone through life empty, resentful of his vows. You would return him to this? I want nothing from you. I have what I need. All I ask is that you leave us alone. Perhaps we will escape. Perhaps we will not. I'm sorry, but I'm looking at all of my party members. And I feel like I can't let you. I'm sorry. Then you leave me no choice. Help! There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. Oh no, what's all this? I'm sorry, how many of them are there? Oh. murdering him is worse than letting him live his sweet little life. Come <laughs> on. 
Oh, I wanted to see what you look like. What now? I wonder if I can leave and come back. Deal with all these. stepped in it. So, you know that I'm a Templar, right? I believe what I heard was that you were not, in fact, a Templar. You were trained as one before you became a Grey Warden. That's right, but I still have all the abilities of one, of course. That doesn't make you nervous. Should it? I am no apostate. Perhaps you should be directing this question at Morrigan. She claims not to be afraid of me, or anything, really. But you've had more experience with the Templars than her. I know how mages can sometimes... The Templars serve a function, and a necessary one. If what has happened at the Tower proves anything, it is that we mages can be dangerous, even to ourselves. That's one way of looking at it. And regardless, you seem like a decent enough young man. If you decide to slaughter me out of hand, I'm sure you would at least inform me first, no? Oh, sure. Count on it. <laughs> it cannot be. I know. But my backpack is full.
anyone in here sell anything? So I can sell you things? No? I would never be so lucky. I should have bought the bat pack first. I don't even think I had money for the bat pack when I walked in here. I guess, technically, I don't, I don't pick anything up in the fade, and I can always come back, I just have to remember where I stopped picking stuff up. Aren't I near the top, though? Do that. What? Mm, no. I don't think so. Damn. You don't have any dual weapon things. you, but too much effort involved. He's just resting. Poor lad. He was so very, very weary. 
You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. Can't keep eyes open. Someone pinch me. I did not listen to your lies, demon. You have no power over me. Resist. You must resist. Else we are all lost. Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. I'm gonna take a break. But I should be back later. Or tomorrow, I haven't decided. Bye.